Hey everyone, um, just want to do a follow-up video to the lab tour. I saw a lot of comments of uh, people saying, wow, that's a lot of money you spent on that equipment, things like that. Um, I guess it depends on your definition. Um, this stuff isn't, you know, $5, $20 Chinese gear, but it's also not thousands of dollars like it was when it was new. Um, in fact, there's only really one piece of equipment in this entire workshop that cost over a thousand dollars which was the Siglent spectrum analyzer um, just about everything else I show in the video was under five hundred dollars or in a lot of cases under two hundred um, so I have a couple tips on uh, how I found a lot of this equipment in the last couple of years um, let's start over here this Tektronix uh, 11403A was actually free someone had posted it on Facebook marketplace I guess their company was throwing it out and um, they hated to see it go, so they, they put it up for free, and if anyone wanted it, um, they offered it up. I went and grabbed it. The uh, 11A81 amplifier module didn't work when I got it. It had leaky surface mount electrolytic capacitors, but I was able to fix that. Um, so that works great now. Um, this other uh, item, the Tektronix Curve Tracer, that was also from Facebook Marketplace. Uh, Facebook Marketplace, you know, love it or hate it, the algorithm can work to your advantage when you're looking to buy stuff. Um, I went there one day and I typed in Curve Tracer in the search box on Marketplace. I didn't expect to find anything, and I didn't. But a couple days later, someone about an hour away listed one for sale, and it popped up in my, hey, here's an item you should check out. Uh, so I went and grabbed that. I think I paid the guy $165 for it. Uh, just needed to replace a few filter capacitors in it, and it works great now. Um a couple other items I got on Facebook Marketplace. There was a Tektronix 222 portable miniature oscilloscope. Um, I think I paid like $60 for that. It looked brand new. I played around with it for a little while. I didn't need it, so I went and threw it up on eBay and got rid of it. Um, there was also a really nice 466 storage oscilloscope with a cart for $20. Um, so, yeah, just, uh, just you know, search Facebook Marketplace for oscilloscope, curve tracer, you know, Tektronix. Um, the HP stuff's a little harder to use the algorithm to your advantage because all the consumer electronics gear, laptops, and all that other junk will show up. So I haven't had much luck finding HP test equipment on Facebook Marketplace. Um, as far as this HP gear here, um, most of this I got on eBay. Um, a couple tips for eBay. If the stuff has a buy it now, add it to your watch list. And what happens probably 80% of the time these days, after a few hours, the seller will automatically send you an offer at a significantly reduced price. Um, and that's that's worked out to my advantage. I've, I've, I've got some of this stuff, kind of was thinking about it, and then it just popped up, hey, they'll sell it to you for $100 off. Um, went ahead and bought it. Another thing is, um, don't be afraid to make a best offer and you know, make it reasonable, but you you can lowball them quite a bit. A lot of the people that sell this stuff don't know what it is. They're just e-waste scrappers or electronic recycling shops. Um, so any money is good money for them. Um, and the other thing on eBay, there's, you know, two conditions of items. You can buy items that are sold as for parts or not working, or you can buy items that are sold you know, use working condition. And, you know, even a lot of cases, the seller will have a 30 day warranty on some of this test equipment. Um, and even if they don't, if they're selling it as used and it shows up dead on arrival, you know, this uh, Spectracom GPS clock over here, um, this was listed as in working condition, um, but it didn't come with a power supply. And I don't think the guy that was selling it even had a power supply. I think he just took his chances on it. Um, I got it. It was completely dead. Um, what happened is the barrel connector on the power supply was broken off on the inside. I had to resolder that. And uh, once I got it to boot, the operating system was corrupt. Um, the compact flash card was bad, so I was able to... Uh, buy a replacement and they actually had the update package on their website i was able to rebuild the file system um and the guy just refunded my money and told me to uh throw it out so that ended up being free uh so yeah if you if you get something that's advertised as working and it's not 
just open a claim right away. It's not an insult to the seller. It's just the process, right? Um, a lot of, sometimes they'll make you an offer like, hey, you know, do you think you can fix it? If you can, I'll give you half your money back. Um, I've got some items like that as well. You know, don't take advantage of them, to be honest. But, you know, you're, they were selling it as working. It wasn't working. Um, don't be afraid to buy broken equipment. This Roden Schwartz signal generator here, I actually bought two of them. Um, these have a pretty common problem where the LCD goes bad. Um, you can buy a replacement LCD from China on eBay for about $200. You know, and if you're only paying about $200 for the signal generator, buying a $200 LCD is worth it. These are nice. Um, in my case, I actually have two of them. They both had bad LCDs. I got lucky. One of them had a bad backlight and a good LCD, and the other one had a bad LCD with a good backlight. So I was able to piece one of them together, and I only had to buy one replacement LCD. Um, and yeah, don't don't be afraid to travel a little bit. Like I said, I, I drove about an hour for this curve tracer. Um, drove about two hours for the Tektronix 2247. Um, for things like um, Variax or various panel meters and odds and ends, ham fests are a good place to get that. You know, look up some ham fests in your area. And I realize a lot of this is probably kind of specific to the United States, but that's where I am. So um, that's all I can really offer advice on. Um, if you're, and I'm not sponsored at all, but I, uh, you know, when I was looking at this Siglin equipment, I did some research and I found on EEV blog, there's a company, Salig, which is actually local here in Rochester, New York, which I didn't know. They offer a discount. I forget what it is, maybe 10% or so. Um, so I got the scope, the multimeter, and the waveform generator, signal generator, 10% off. Um, another way to get deals on Siglin equipment, if you're interested in that, is they actually have a clearance section on their website. I got the uh, spectrum analyzer directly from their site at a pretty hefty discount and same with their power supply um yeah and, and also you know as far as you know buying buying broken equipment in hopes of repairing it you got to take a little risk um this tektronic scope i actually um i had another 575 curve tracer that i was selling on facebook marketplace um that someone actually sold me for $40 while I was buying something else from them. It was unexpected. They just kind of showed up and were like, hey, do you want to buy this with everything else you're getting? Um, so I had that up on Facebook Marketplace, and someone actually offered to trade me this scope for it. Um, the scope had some problems. Um, it needed a new acquisition board, but I actually found someone on eBay selling the acquisition board for about $100 and was able to get it going. Um, so, I mean, this TDS 5054B might have cost me two fifty, three hundred dollars. Um spent a little bit more on it because I bought two more probes for about a hundred dollars each since I wanted to have it complete, but you know, this stuff's not not thousands of dollars. This Levere audio analyzer I found out from fellow YouTuber Ray Gianelli. Highly suggest uh checking out his channel and subscribing if you're interested in vintage audio repair. Uh once I saw his video I needed one. Couldn't find anyone selling one. These are kind of hard to find in the United States. Um, I did find a guy that had a lot of two of them, though. So I bought both, you know, with the intent of reselling one of them. And uh, the guy threw them in a box with no packing material at all. The other one was basically completely destroyed. The BNCs must have been facing down the entire trip. They were all broken. The front panel was bashed in. Uh, so I opened a case on eBay. The guy ended up sending me a third one and giving me a heavy discount on these two um so i was able to you know piece this one together and i also sold the broken one to ray who was able to use it to repair the oscillator in his that worked out um, and then the third one i ended up reselling so this actually ended up being free for me i actually made a couple hundred dollars on it um at the end of the day um so <laughs> just an example of uh you know, how things can go wrong but work out at the same time. Fluke meters. You can find Fluke meters on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist all the time. The Fluke 289, I saw a bunch on there for $200, $250. 
you know, Fluke 87s, they go for a decent, about the same, really. I think they're a little more desirable in some ways. Um, so, you know, keep, keep, keep your eyes out. Good luck.